When I was younger and first started to try my hand at fiction, I couldn't stand writing first drafts. The reason was simple. I knew that I didn't have a full grip on the story I wanted to tell, and I felt that telling it without that grip would only be a waste of time. Now that I am older and more experienced, I rather like writing first drafts, and the reason is simple. I know that I don't have a full grip on the story I want to tell, and the only way to get that grip is to start writing. You see, what I've come to learn over the past 25 years is, the only way to tell a story well is to first tell it poorly. In order to revise your story into a masterpiece that will be read and reread for years to come, you must first have something to revise. As I said, nowadays I enjoy writing first drafts, because experience has taught me that not a single word from my first draft will ever make it into the final draft. Allow me to repeat that. Not a single word from my first draft will ever make it into the final draft. And as horrifying as that would have sounded to the young me, the old me finds it liberating. Because it means that it doesn't matter what I write in my first draft. All that matters is that I write. There was a writer from a previous generation, a writer of some renown, who placed above his writing desk a note that read, Write Worse. This writer knew, as I do now, that the only thing that matters, if you want to call yourself a writer, is not that you write well, but that you write. He knew that if he were to get stuck and find himself unable to move ahead in his story, because the proper words just wouldn't come to him, that he needed to press on anyway and write the wrong words, words that were worse than what he knew he was capable of. Because though he may have to throw out everything that he had written that day, that week, that month, that year, he could still, without having to lie to himself, call himself a writer. <laughs>